Hi, I'm Holly Clegg, author of the cookbook, Eating Well to Fight Arthritis. Today I'm going to share with you three joint-friendly foods that you could add to any recipe you're making. In fact, I usually have these foods in my house, and I bet you do too. They're so simple to add to whatever you're preparing. They're going to add flavor, nutrition, and they're good for your joints. Let's start with spinach. Spinach is a green leafy vegetable, and it's packed with vitamin A, C, and K. Popeye said spinach made you strong, but we know it's good for your joints. Spinach is so versatile, and I always have spinach to add whatever I'm making, whether a recipe calls for it or not. You could toss spinach with mixed greens, and I like to use the baby spinach because it's a little more tender. Add spinach to pasta, pizza, or soup, the list is endless. In fact, my chicken, red pepper, and spinach pizza is so good, it's on the cover of my arthritis cookbook. Number two, peppers. I think peppers are one of the best kept secrets. Did you know that peppers are one of the best sources of vitamin C? They're good for your immune system and they're packed full of those anti-inflammatory antioxidants. Just a half a cup of red bell pepper gives you a full day supply of vitamin C. I add peppers just like I do spinach to whatever I'm making. I also cut them in squares and use them as a chip for my favorite dip. For my last joint-friendly food, I had to go with my favorite fruit, blueberries. Blueberries have been touted as a superfood, and they are. Blueberries top the chart in antioxidants, protecting the body from inflammation. Add blueberries to whatever you're baking, from desserts to muffins. Who doesn't like a blueberry muffin, especially with my easy, healthy blueberry muffin recipe? Sprinkle blueberries on yogurt for a healthy and delicious snack. Blueberries are just so versatile. Don't forget about adding them to your favorite smoothie. See how easy it is to add these joint-friendly foods to whatever you're cooking? Get creative in the kitchen with these foods. You want to remember, everybody's condition is different, so you always want to check with your physician before you make any major dietary changes.